Today we're going to be talking about your tarot scope, your tarot reading for your zodiac sign for the month ahead. So I'm going to pull three cards today. I'm going to pull one for what's the energy around you, what's the theme of the month, and then who you are embodying, what is your message, who are you stepping into this month, and then of course we always do a cosmic self-care card. That is self-care that's just for your soul, something like a note from your higher self, or from your guides, just for you to take extra, extra good care of yourself. So let's get into it. Okay, my Cancer Moonbeams, what does this mean for you this month? Let's see what May has in store for you. Okay, so I am pulling three cards today. I'm pulling one from the Modern Witch Tarot deck. I'm pulling one from the Lioness Oracle and one from the Food Fortunes deck, which is a little silly, but I felt like we could all use a little humor and lightheartedness now. So your tarot card for the month, the energy around you is Six of Cups. So Six of Cups, we see a childhood scene here, something very sweet, an offering. It's almost like cotton candy. This is going to be about something sweet. Um, you're going to feel a nostalgia for the past or maybe someone from your childhood or from growing up is going to reach out or maybe you rediscover um, a book or a movie or an activity that you love to do as a child and you're going to reconnect with that this month. The only warning with this card that I must mention is Venus is also entering retrograde. So we're going to look out for maybe old... Um, like having overly sweet nostalgic memories of the past when they don't serve us. So if there's an old like lover, boyfriend, girlfriend coming out of the woodwork, we just want to check in with ourselves of like, is this really good for me? Or am I just being like caught up in the super um, nostalgia machine? So that's your Six of Cups card, Cancer. And let's check in with your Food Fortune card of the month. So again, this one's a little silly, but oh, I like it. The staple. Okay, I like it. The grilled cheese. So the staple card is gonna be about, um, it's a number seven. So seven's a number when you see things getting really spiritual. So we know that there's been a lot of mystery and confusion over this past you know, two months. And the staple for you, Cancer, is like returning to basics, taking care of yourself, you know, not needing to overcomplicate things. It's okay if you feel tired or lethargic or unclear, but it's like, are you eating? Are you sleeping? Are you, you know, gently moving your body? Are you drinking enough water? This is gonna be like, what you need to embody this month is just being more in your staple, more in your basics. And then, oh, your self-care, soul care card. Your cosmic self-care card is nurture. And look at this. I actually haven't seen this image before. It's this beautiful, like, mother, divine mother energy holding this baby um, in outer space. And it feels like nurture yourself, take care of yourself. Um, Maybe the Six of Cups card, now that I see it like this, this might even bring up an old wound from the past or a memory of like, oh, I, I could have taken care of myself better or I really missed something from my childhood um, that maybe someone didn't give to me. And maybe you can give it to yourself this month. You know, treat yourself, reparent yourself, or just connect into that inner child and see what they need. You know, maybe it's just a delicious ooey gooey grilled cheese and like tomato soup lunch. So yeah, nurture, tend to listen to your inner child this month, okay? So thank you, I love this. I'm saying thank you, because I'm like, thank you, I needed this card, I'm a Cancer Rising, this is so beautiful. All right, so that's your reading. Those are your three cards for the month ahead. Definitely drop a comment below if this resonates or anything sounds like, yeah, that totally lines up. I also love to hear about, yeah, what you have going on this month. And if you don't, definitely subscribe here because a new video drops for you every Friday and definitely follow us on our Instagram at The Cosmic Revolution. We have daily inspiration and weekly energy forecasts there. So until next time, sending you lots of blessings for a beautiful, bountiful, sparkly May.